Hello, everyone, and welcome to season two of All Games, No Masters. I am your host, Aki, uh, and this is my group of amazing co-players. Uh, as you can see, there are only four of us, and the reason that is is because this is a GM-less TTRPG show. There are no GMs in this space. No one who can tell us you can't do that, except us. We can tell each other you can't do that if we really don't want you to do that. That's how that works. Safety tools at the tables, kids. Anyways, All Games No Masters is a GMless branch of the RPG Exploration Society with Saving Throw. Welcome to the Society Explorers. Uh, we're going to get into our goals here in just a little bit. But uh, first, I just want to make sure that everything seems to be going all right. Everything appears to be okay. All righty then. All right. uh, our goals this season are a little bit different from last season. Uh, we have a $250 donation goal for each episode. And then on top of that, we also have 150 subs or Patreon donations for the entirety of the season. So that's eight episodes. If we reach our goal of 150 subs or do uh, Patreon donations, you will unlock a poll. And what is this poll, you might ask? Well, we've all picked what games we want to play throughout the season, but we were looking at how many episodes per per uh, game that uh, we picked, and it looks like, oh dear, out of eight episodes, we might only have enough content for six of them. But we have these other games that we could maybe play, but we don't know which ones to choose. So we're going to make you do it. If you help us hit our goal of 150 subs or uh, donations, uh, on Patreon in this season, you will get the opportunity to pick which game we play at the end of our season. And there's also the possibility of unlocking a Q&A. So, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I would love to hear the rest of these people answer questions about uh, All Games No Masters and what inspired them to pick the games they chose and what games they didn't choose would love to play at some other point in time. Uh, there is a lot of opportunity here and we wanna make sure that you grab it. And of course, you can also always send us a message in a bottle by sending us uh, $15, 1500 bits or gifting five subs. Um, and that will enable you the opportunity to send us, you know, little messages, bug us in the middle of the game, you know, just really break up that flow. We love, we love it. We want you to do it. <laughs> Help us. You're our only hope. In any case, make sure to also check out our sponsors at Die Hard Dice, where you can save 10% by using the code saving throw at checkout. Uh, use the command exclamation point D H D I C E, and uh, then you can uh, get more links and info. We also want to welcome any watchers of the VOD on YouTube and remind you to like, comment, subscribe, and tap the bell so that you never miss another video from us. And we love hearing from you all. Uh, and I think with that, uh, it's time to start season two of All Games and Masters. And uh, our our facilitator today is not me, uh, actually. It is the wonderful Randy mm -hmm. Alvarenga, who is the facilitator of our very first pick today. So why don't you take it away? I am ready. So um, hey, everybody. Uh... I'm really excited to, to, to give you the, the game that we're gonna be playing today. As you see in the middle of the board, we're playing a scenario of Mall Kids. Now, first, I'd like to just say a little bit about Mall Kids. Mall Kids is an awesome game created by Matthew Graveland and uh, Caitlin Bruder. Uh, um, and it, it is just super cool. And so what we're doing today is instead of playing the uh, original just sort of base game we looked through there and saw that one of the scenarios was by abria iyengar uh, <laughs> and we were we were like this looks so cool and so we decided to be playing fuck the police uh sorry if that needs to be bleeped out later <laughs> so <laughs> let's go ahead and um start playing this game and so the way that we start playing is by creating our mall kids so uh, some of us had some ideas of what we wanted to play. You may see our backgrounds as such. Uh, I'll come back to Amanda and myself later, but let's start. Oh, and Max, I think Max also has some ideas. So Aki, why don't we try some rolling for, for, for your character? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, 
I, I did not have the opportunity to generate a character previously, but I felt that that was going to be okay because one of the really cool things that you can do in Mall Kids is you can actually roll on a table and build your character that way. Uh, I have decided that I'm going to be pulling from both the base uh, set of character uh, this, like choices that you can have, as well as the choices from the expansion. So instead of rolling three D6s and choosing my characteristics based on that, I'm instead going to roll three D12, uh, since there are six options in each. So I am, I am hoping, I am crossing my fingers for a true Frankenstein's monster of a character that makes absolutely no sense. So uh, we're going to start with where do you work? I'm going to roll a d12 here and see what happens. OK, I rolled an 11. Uh, and uh, my choice, my choices were game store, clothing boutique, food court, housewares, kids play place, mall security, or info desk, kiosk, candy store, department store, restaurant, or seasonal pop up. In this case, I am going to be working at a restaurant. Uh, that is my, lo my my location of employment. Uh, so I, I I'm a I'm a server or or host of some kind. Um, maybe I work in the kitchen. Who knows? We will figure that out. All right, rolling my next D twelve. Here we go. Ooh, I rolled a one. <laughs> so let's see. That is for uh, who are you? Oh, this couldn't have worked out better. I'm a prep. I feel as though I dressed appropriately and that energy was felt by roll 20. So I am a prep who works in a restaurant and now I have to roll for what I want. So what do I want? Let's roll the deck. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There we go. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know what just happened. Uh, okay. So I rolled a 10. And that, let's see what my options were. So it was get promoted, quit, ask someone out, discover a secret, slack off, do crime. And then it's go on a date, cover something up, reinvent yourself, hone your skills, uh, make some extra cash and meet new people. In this case for me, it would be hone your skills. So mm -hmm. I, am a, I am a prep who works in a restaurant, hoping to hone my skills. What skills? I guess we don't know just yet. Yeah, but I want I want to hone them. <laughs> I have skills, and I want to hone them. Yeah, this is such a cool part. So, what do we call you? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to name yeah. my character Seal, S E A L Seal. Um, yeah. yeah, I think Seal is a good is a good name for my prep. And a very important part of this game is. Your pronouns. I know your pronouns, Aki, but is Seal the same? Uh, I'm going to say that Seal is also they, them, um, but you could also use he, him pronouns for them. Either one. He, him, or they, them. Either work. Awesome. Cool. Uh, all right. So for some of us, let's uh, Amanda or, or, or Max. Which so. uh, do either of you want? Like you're like I really am excited about. Max. I I prefer not to follow Max. Got it. So, so. <laughs> I'm just okay. I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So I am playing Margot, uh, but spelled M A R G E A U X. Thank you very much. Um, she's a, a drama kid with a stage mother, hence the name. Uh, who works at the candy store uh, in the mall, and she wants to to make out with someone before she leaves for college, so she knows how. <laughs> okay. And she, her. Yeah. No, thank you very much. All right. So, what about Max? Oh, hey. Uh, playing Jeff. I uh, work in the arcade. And uh, my my dream is to be uh, the envy of every ten year old who ever walks into an arcade. <laughs> okay. I'm just the most amazing video game player in the world. Um, he him, and uh, oh, uh, let's see what else was there that I was supposed to tell you. 
Uh, I, yeah. I'm a, oh, uh, who am I? I'm a burnout, obviously. If you oh, were square. Th that's pretty awesome. Uh, and uh, so the character I'm thinking is uh, first named Zach, uh, pronouns he, he, him. Uh, I think Zach is just a very average uh, looking guy. Like, I don't think he's particularly amazing looking, but not bad looking. Uh, he's, he, but he's kind of a the the slacker for sure. He's he's trying to make money that's easy, and so he's working at the movie theater here at the mall. Um, this movie theater is kind of old and dingy, and not the most popular. But uh, he knew that that would allow him prime slackage, so um, <laughs> he yeah. he's chosen it. <laughs> We're about to be friends. Uh, but uh, what do I want? You see, Zach is also a senior in high school, I think. And for Zach, he wants to pull off a huge prank. Now, I don't know if the others are into that, but he definitely does. <laughs> All right. So the next part of this is to sort of think about the mall that we're in. All right. So, uh, the there's a like with character creation if you are a person who wants to roll on a table we can or we can decide as a group so what are we thinking i'm down to roll dice i you know i, I love the chaos of it this sounds i'm, right. I'm in for I'm what in kind of mall of yeah for what kind of mall well. so uh yeah i roll i'm not it. the gm roll here so it. someone roll someone want to roll <laughs> How how about how about this? I I've already rolled a bunch of dice. So what if what if each of you rolls one aspect of the mall? Cool. Uh, yeah. I like that. All right. What are, are we doing D six? One D six or yeah, one D six. So, There's a couple different tables you can use throughout the game, but uh, I'm using the one on the uh, main uh, sort of character creation, the scenario type of thing. Um, here. I oh, rolled a one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I kind of like if if we're doing a one for which mall, an outdoor mall actually sounds like a lot of fun for the fuck the police scenario. Yeah. Oh yes, definitely very good. So sure. there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so we have or I rolled the uh, a two, and in this it's saying uh, a new store is open, but I think. For for fuck uh, fuck the police. Sorry, I my mother always made me really cautious with cursing, so I get like really nervous. We're <laughs> <laughs> on the internet, man. No, this is like the worst I, place I, in the world. It's okay. No, I know. I mean, <laughs> in my personal life, I do it all the time. I don't know what it is. Like anyway. Um. So for this, Andy's right, mom, if you're watching, we're sorry. <laughs> um. So I think we already have sort of what our big thing is, which is we need to create an adversary and what our group goal is. We also need some kind of connection with each other. That can be uh, anything from, hey, I've seen you before at school to whatever. Um, so uh, for, I, I did roll like it would say a new store opened, right? So a new store could be opening at the mall, but that's not gonna be the focus of our game that, that may be like for other things, but there could be a new store. That could be yeah. what's happening at our mall. <laughs> uh, I like it. Amanda, would yeah. you mind rolling a D6? Oh yeah. It's a six. Ooh. The <laughs> so this is just like something that's happening while whatever we choose to do is going on. There are apparently some shoplifters at the mall. Yes. Uh, yes, this are. weekend. So um, for those at home, one thing about um, Mall Kids is it takes place over uh, a series of what are called beats from the beginning of the day to the end. And so this is just one day in the lives of our four uh, really cool characters. And apparently there's shoplifters in a new store opening. And for our expansion, the cool part is we got to create an adversary. So uh, uh, the, this scenario asks that like people roll, you can roll die, you can also just come up with ideas yourself. But 
um, there's someone trying to stop us doing something. So I kind of liked where this went. If you guys have ideas for who you would like to be chasing us, or if you want to try to decide what we want to do as sort of the goal of this. So it's mm. like, who is the person chasing us? Like, what kind of person are they? And what are they going to do to us? Like, what yeah, happens if what, they match What's it? their plan? And, and what's our crime, right? And what's our crime? Yeah. We're doing what do you want to get away with? Uh, uh, for me, I feel like I kind of want to figure out what that crime is before I'm like, oh, you know. Before but, we build the cop. Right. Or, yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah. he's going to be. Yeah. Or she. Uh, or they. Or they. Or they. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. They are going to be a yeah. fucking jerk is what they're going to be, I'll yeah. tell you. I'm, yeah. <laughs> All cops are bastards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So uh, let's start with, uh, I mean, is that okay with everybody? I want to make sure that yeah. we, okay. So uh, let's roll it. Unless someone has like a strong idea that they want. Oh, we're going to roll it? Oh, okay. Yeah, roll it. All right. So let's do one uh, roll. Nice, nice, nice. nice. <laughs> we're nice. rolling a lot nice. in the beginning of Always this. Absolute chaos. Yeah. I like it. I apparently rolled twice, and I did not mean to. Oh wait, I rolled last. Uh, I got a one. So, our goal, you guys. I think the shoplifters oh. are us. <laughs> you can't prove that. Wait, uh, what? What are we looking at? I'm so, uh, on the expansion page. Uh, there is some charts for like what the crime could be. Under under the F the police? Yeah. Yes. Under under fuck the police is uh, uh, all of this. And so, I mean, we can disagree with this, but what we rolled is to steal something big. And so our group. <laughs> and so I, I I'm looking I'm looking at uh what, what was her name uh Margot with a special <laughs> name because I I remember uh. We talked a little bit, and you were like, "I need something that my character would do." Does that feel right for what you're having in mind for her, or me? Yeah. Oh, I mean, she. I. I don't. Someone would just have to talk her into it, really. Badly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, someone would have to talk her into it, um, which uh, could happen depending on the relationships that we set up. I. I, I imagine. All right. Um, so it sounds like we're stealing something. Stealing something big, but who's after us? Did we do that already? We're about to do that. We're going to go backwards. Yeah, because I just felt like I don't want to be like like if you want anyone to think you're cool, you got to get on the side with us. So what are we stealing? Uh, There's a store opening up. We're in an outside mall. Uh, we're, We're a couple of us have goals of like getting good at things and and that kind of stuff so is there some sort of like monument type deal in this outdoor mall mm. like like a, a like a small statuette or something that sort of like what if i'm trying to think what if this mall is like famous for it's like uber fancy like carousel or something like that you know how malls sometimes they have like carousels yeah. in them yeah um <laughs> maybe it's something to do with that but i'm trying to think of like what you could what big thi- maybe you're trying to steal one of the horses let's steal I, a horse like, let's, yes let's steal yo, a horse from the carousel that, that would be a that i want to do a prank anyway it's like the most I mean, ornate, the- like beautiful of the horses i i want to steal yeah. it <laughs> let's right. do it Let's steal a carousel horse. This carousel. This should work out just fine. Yeah. Yeah. Seniors going out. Uh, Um. So, yeah. Who is our adversary? All right. Who? Um. In order for it to make sense, I I think we have to pick like local police. Or or, 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 or. Anybody but five and six. Yeah, right? anybody, anybody but five but and six makes the sense. Or the school principal. Right, right. I like the idea of mall security because rent a cop jokes are never not funny. Um, True. Yeah, yeah. I'm down with that. Yeah, yeah that's that's makes security. the most sense. You know, you don't have to like. Yeah, yeah. Because even though yeah. we are trying to attempt grand larceny here, 
<laughs> it's fun. We're not trying to hurt We're the good fun. guys. Yeah, we're the good guys. The good. You want to root for us. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so how does this person act, this mall security person? What so they, I rolled uh, a five. Ooh. Okay. Awesome. He fights for <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it so much. They're just a try hard. They're they're just <laughs> a good old try hard. Like they love their job is what I'm imagining. Like absolutely like I must protect the 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 mall at all costs kind of person. They keep the peace. <laughs> you know like those people that take like mall cop duties like so seriously. You know what I mean? Like, like, there are kids in this mall. I don't, I don't know that I... punks running around trying to screw shit up for them. I swear to God. Okay. So Max is obviously <laughs> playing our cop today. <laughs> so what are we... Uh, so what will they do? What will this person do to us? If, if like, if they were to catch us, it's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, All of these are legitimate. Who, Jeannie, who you needs roll? to roll? Uh, I'll roll. I'll roll. Yeah. Let me roll a d6. I rolled a one. <laughs> tell our boss. One is tell our boss. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it could. I feel like that kind of. I feel like yes, that makes absolute sense. But there's no, there's no fun in the in the stakes there. I want to raise the like, stakes a little bit. Yeah, yeah call I your feel parents. Like, Call your parents or arrest you. One of those would be, I know that a call your parents would be an absolute epic. Just no, don't do that for Margot. Um, probably <laughs> also for Seal, who is a prep and probably a bit of like an uppity asshole. So when, can they do that thing where they like detain us? In, well, I mean, that's an option. Sorry. <laughs> detain you. Yeah. Detain you in the mall office, I think is actually a pretty good one. Because I, I, I just like the idea of this cop being like, yeah, you guys are in trouble. And I'm gonna call the police. And like for him, that or them, um, like that's the most important thing, right? Right. It's like, don't well, or we could, or we could just like see how things go, and then the consequences will fall as they may, true. depending on that. how that's... out of wildly out of control <laughs> things get. Right? That's it's true. Like, <laughs> is it like it's like mall jail or jail jail? Uh, oh yeah, I mean that's how senior pranks can be. So let's hope it's the first of those. Uh, all right. So one of the the special rules for this scenario here is that everyone um, we're going to be writing a zero on our character sheets at the beginning of this. Mm -hmm. um, each player starts by writing a zero on their sheet. This is your detection number. Whenever you're acting on a plan to complete your crime and fail a roll. Or, or you're helping someone who fails a role, increase your detection number by one, okay? The, and then at the end of each beat, each player will roll a D6 and compare it to that detection number. If the number rolled is lower than your detection number, uh, then the adversary is on you. Uh, the adversary might know who you are, what you're up to, or where you work. And if the number rolled is equal to or greater than, you're fine, you're fine, okay? So uh, basically, the the more uh, your detection roll goes up, the easier it becomes for the co uh, for for the mall security person to get you. So now we need to give this person a name. What do they look like? I think they are their their name is something Fisher. I mm -hmm. like the idea of the last name being Fisher. Just Officer Fisher. Yeah, uh, Officer Fisher. I, I feel like yeah. they, they want <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> their name is their name is Tad Fisher. <laughs> Tad. Yep. That's Tad why. Fisher has very suddenly become 16 in my mind and is just like a pimply nerd. But I like the I idea. <laughs> I like the idea that they're like a fresh out of college security cop, like maybe only in their like late to mid like mid to late 20s like oh man do they want total... to go to police academy someday Can yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> they're they're <laughs> they want it they want to be an actual bastard one day they just haven't ma managed to make it to that point yet they keep they getting rejected by the, the police academy. they have uh, yeah because they haven't been able to put on enough body weight to like qualify for like <laughs> minimum poor just... tiny tad <laughs> poor tiny tad 
Um, <laughs> all, right. Bean. all right. So the last thing before we start playing, which uh, we'll get to and how to do that in a moment. Any relationships amongst the four of our characters? How do we know each other? How have we seen each other? And then, yeah. Well, so we each only have to do one, I think, right? Right, like, right. Okay, so um, in order for this to make sense, uh, Margot needs to have a crush on one of you. Um, so given, I think, you know what? Randy, we're gonna start, we're gonna start this season on a on a better note than than our two adversarial characters yeah. did last season. Great. Um, so I think Margot has a crush on Zach. All right. <laughs> I'm such a douchebag already. <laughs> in my mind. Uh, yeah. Cool. What about uh, anyone else? <laughs> Not in life. Um, I, yeah, think, I think. I think. Um, Seal and Jeff, like Seal just cannot stand Jeff. Just, and I don't know if it's, they can't stand him because they're jealous of like this guy who's just decided I don't care, whatever. Like, but like Seal takes everything very ser ser seriously and Jeff does not at all. Like Seal thinks Jeff is a loser. Like that's definitely what's going on here. Okay. Okay. I mean, prep prep for, versus burnout. Let's just really lean into the trope here. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, which obviously means that secretly Jeff thinks that Seal is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but refuses to admit it because he's like too proud. But one time he actually saw Seal beat the X-Men video game with one quarter. And it was the most impressive thing he'd ever seen in his life. Um, and Seal and just, was probably super casual about it, too. Like, Yeah. All right. I think Zach uh, and Jeff have been friends before. Like, I, I think, like, they're, like, a slacker and sort of, you know, like, it makes sense. Uh, I think in, in high school or wherever we go, like, you know, we, we hang out. And we that's why we both got jobs at the same mall, so that we could hang out and chill all the time. Oh, no. No. Boo, no one likes Marco. <laughs> no, but no, no, no. I don't think it's uh, about, like, not liking Marco. I, I'm cool with uh, having another one. I can... Oh, no, no. I just meant no relationship. <laughs> no yeah, one's... The building uh, of the relationship. That's what yeah. I meant. Yeah. That, I think, I think, uh, I think that there's opportunity here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for sure all right that's cool We're so i'm gonna make you do crime. and like we start we all start off with three cred and three corp right yeah yeah so let me explain a little bit about that uh so one of the mechanics of the game is that uh the there are only two stats that you need to worry about uh and they are cred and corp cred being sort of your relationship with like other employees and and just saying like kind of anti-establishment i guess and then uh court being you're trying to do your job and do it well and listen to the man and, and wear a button up shirt. uh when you're in this game it's we it's done through uh little scenes that happen in what are called beats and so each of us will have a turn to narrow uh to be sort of in charge of what a scene is sorry about that that's my alarm telling me it's eight o'clock for medicine. Yeah. Um, oh, so. I think I think then in that case, uh, I have one thing I want to do really fast because yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break uh, right before we actually jump into the game proper. Uh, probably about five minutes, but we have a toast <gasps> from the from the beast. Uh, so if you want to raise your glass or whatever it is you have on hand uh, for season two hype. Wah, 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 wah. Yay. Woo! Thank you so much to the Beast for your toast. Thank we are you. going to, we are going to take a quick break. We should be back about five minutes. Um, and then we're going to jump into this game and let, let Randy go ahead and finish his explanation. Uh, but until then, uh, go ahead, get up, stretch, drink some water, and we'll see you in five. All right, Randy, go ahead and take it away. 
Yeah, uh, so what I was saying is that during this game, uh, you have the chance to roll, like, roll for things that are difficult, and you, as the player, get to sort of figure out, huh, am I using cred or am I using corporate? And then roll, and this game, uh, you you roll, and if the number is lower than your current stat, that is a success, Right? And so uh, there's also throughout different activities and different ways you can raise or lower uh, some of those stats. So if you think, hey, my plan went really well and uh, I, w- I think that that means I am doing the job of the man better and you can raise a stat in corporate. And we'll talk about some other ways that you can do that um, elsewhere. But for now, I just want to jump in. And what we're going to start with is the very first day. Uh, I like the first beat, which is uh, the opening, I believe. Let me, oh, I'm on the wrong one. But I believe, yeah, opening. So uh, here we are on this day. uh, And um, does anyone want to start? It could be me, but I'd rather it. But why don't we let Max, actually? Max looks really cool in those sunglasses. Have me start off? All right, cool. Um, So... I'll set a scene. Um, Jeff is going to roll into the uh, restaurant. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. It's, you know, I'm late to work. Let's all be very clear about this. But Jeff doesn't really give a shit. I don't give a shit. So I'm rolling into the restaurant where Seal works. And uh, I'm going to try and get myself a breakfast sandwich or something like that. Um, just for a little context, uh, Seal, where what's what, what kind of joint you work at? Where are you at? I feel like I work at the seafood restaurant in the mall. Sweet. Like the really swanky seafood, the one that has like the smartest uniform. Like Seal 100% tried to get a job at like the nicest restaurant in the mall that they could so they wouldn't look like garbage. Mm. Yeah. Cool. So All like right. their their breakfast items are probably things like um like hot bowls of soup and and like like toast like probably get like a lobster roll or something like that for breakfast. Things like that. But like it's imitation lobster. It's not like lobster lobster. <laughs> Cuz that's the way they keep the prices down for the morning people. Okay. Well then I okay. Hey, what's up? Let me guess. Uh, you just got here, and you're at least thirty minutes late. Oh, I don't know. I don't wear a watch. Um, I got Wait. like a. I got a. I got a to go order that I, that I put in. Did you actually put in a to go order, or are you trying to get free food again? No, I, I did. I just, I may have shown up early um, because it might not be ready yet. But, you know, whatever uh, comes out next, that's probably for me. Yeah? Uh, Yeah. Really? Okay. um, You know I'm going to check the receipts to make sure that that's actually true. Uh, Yeah, no, I had to put it on a a friend's card. Um, They had to put the order in because I was coming. I was on my way over here. I couldn't, like, you don't want to, like, text and and drive or whatever so you know it's cool but i think um was that is that like a is that like a lobster roll or something that that's probably me oh no i feel like you should have to roll for this i feel like you should have to roll (laughs) uh (laughs) this feels like Uh, a cred roll to me (laughs) let's do it also, I don't know so, if there are like contested roles in this bitch, but like <laughs> <laughs> there are there aren't any that I know of, but maybe you, we could make one up. Uh, it's uh, our game. Uh, I have I have rolled it too. I've rolled under my under my cred. Oh, uh, yeah. You That's you me. you owe me. You realize you you owe me big time. If I get totally. in trouble because of this shit, I'm coming for you. Oh, uh, well, hey, 
you know where to find me, you know, like tapping the buttons all day long. You're 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 a menace. Have has anybody told you that recently? That's that's what you are. You're a menace. Not in like not in like a week. You know. But I just gotta keep up my quota, I guess, so thanks. Yeah. You on the other hand are a um as my dad would say, a stick in the mud. Uh, I'd much rather be a stick in the mud and, you know, be a useful human being than, well, be you. So I guess uh, there's a trade-off there. Well, Whoa. Can I just get my lobster roll and go? Because I feel I mean, very attacked. It's, and... it's, it's a, it's, Sinatra's lobster roll, but sure, you can have it. I'll just yeah. Make sure that we, that Sinatra knows that, like, if he if he wants his uh his lobster roll to to check out the burnout in in the arcade and ask him where it went. Um, yeah, tell him to just croon his way on over. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he hey. does actually sing. I wonder he probably gets that all the time. It's like probably constantly being told to sing for a supper. Yeah, I mean, Sinatra's parents probably hate him. Honestly, that's the meanest thing I could think to do to a kid. Naming your kid after a famous singer, that's brutal. Yeah. Anyways, you better get out of here before we go to get in trouble. I'm going to have to make sure that the people in the kitchen know they have to make the order again because there was something wrong with it. Thanks. Hey, uh, yeah. you're pretty cool. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you make my life miserable, but okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to nosh on this lobster roll and head over to work. Yeah. Um, so, it's delicious. Amanda, do you want to do the next one? Or I have an idea for the next one, if that's fine. Go for yeah. it. Cool. Uh, so, uh, waiting at sort of the closed down gate that should have been up uh, like 30 minutes ago is uh, your slacker friend, and he's just kind of sitting there playing like an old Game Boy, um, <laughs> like sitting on the ground, just kind of like, hey. Uh, he sees uh, Jeff sort of walking up, and he goes, dude, it came to me last night. Continue. I realized what I need to do before, before I graduate. Like, you, me, mm -hmm. will pull off the biggest prank this mm -hmm. town has ever seen. Like, blow people's minds. Yes. All right, listen. Bro. You know Man. the carousel. <laughs> You're I've in seen it. You know that big horse? The one with, like, all of the lights and, like, it's just... It's just better than all the rest. The one that, like, you know, dudes put their girlfriends and stuff on. Oh, yeah. I know that horse. Been looking at me funny. We're still in it. Like, it, it was like a vision. I'm just sitting in bed, and I close my eyes, and I just see us, like, running away with this. And I just, I knew if we can pull that off, if we can pull this off today... We're going to be famous, bro. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to be legends. One problem. <laughs> what? I don't know any way to do that. Look, man. It's a horse. You just got to ride it out of here. See. Mm, ride that horse. Mm. I feel like there's got to be someone here that we can get to help. Huh? <gasps> what if what if we get some people that like no one would suspect? Like 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 to throw people off. You know? Mhm. Mm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? You know girl Margo? Yeah, I know. She's Mar got like a pretty decently sized SUV. She's got like a Jeep. Yeah. But we could totally load that horse in that freaking car and drive it out of here. So, hey, here's the deal. Yeah. Do you know how to hotwire a car? No. Me Sorry. neither. 
So we got to find another way to get that car. We could just ask her to be a part of it. No one would suspect her. She's like bro. a goody two shoes, bro. You're a goddamn genius. I'm just sitting here at the altar of your mind, <laughs> worshiping my ass off. I don't know what you're talking about. I just, I just, I'm the visionary, you know? I just see things sometimes. I do. You're like the Oracle at Delphi, but you work here at the mall. Bro, do you be paying attention in school? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, man. I just play video games. All right. So we get this Margo yeah. person to join. Yeah. I feel like, so she's our getaway, maybe. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> What about your friend? What friend? The person you're always getting those lobster things from. I've seen you do it three times this week. Who, Seal? Yeah. Yeah, they're cool, but like, they're not going to be into it, man. That's that's why. Well, because the lobster rolls? No. Oh. Yes. I mean, yes. Lobster rolls are also great. But no. If we can get Seal and Margot. There's no mm -hmm. pinning it back on us. It's perfect crime, bro. All right. This is just insane. Hey, hey, I've got, you know, the movies aren't going to start for a little while. I've, I, I've got things set up. I, I can go. Uh, yeah. No one's coming to the arcade for a little bit. No. Let's go get Margot and talk her into it. You think that'll work? Totally. I'm not going to lie to you, though, bro. I think you might do a better job convincing her than I will. She never listens to me. She, you know. I've only seen her in school, and that's about it. I just know yeah. she's a senior like us. Let's, 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 let's try. Okay. <laughs> right. Um. So I, I'm going to say that, like, while this was happening, meanwhile, on the other side of the mall, <laughs> um, like in my in my head, y'all are somewhere in the middle. Um, and Margot's coming from this direction, even though her store is in this direction, because this direction is where uh, Zach's movie theater is. <laughs> she comes in there every shift and purposely walks all the way around. And so you just see her like walking just like much faster. She's about to be late now because she like waited um, yes. and you weren't there and it's fine. But now she has to go to work and she can't wait any longer. Um, <laughs> and she's like walking like really quickly. And then I want to, I would like to bring in uh, officer Tad Fisher uh, <laughs> that I'm going to ask Aki if they will play who I just run into on my way to these boys really quickly. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the fire, Missy? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I mean, you can ask my boots if they're okay. Uh, excuse me? I mean, you stepped all over my boots when you ran into me. You got them all scuffed up. Oh, well, I, I said I'm sorry. Um, no, it's fine. I just... I mean, it's, it's such sure a nice day outside. How could you get upset about anything, right? Well, I mean, listen, just be careful when you're walking through the thoroughfare, okay? If you, if you go too fast, you could run into somebody like, you know, a mom with her stroller and her little kid inside of it or, you know, or, or you uh, an elderly or me. Or an elderly lady or something like, just, you know, be careful. What what exactly has got you in such a hurry in the first place? Oh, um, I just, um, I, I came in at the wrong entrance. I, I wasn't paying attention. Um, anyway, um, uh, it was so nice to uh, see you, Officer Fisher. Um, you have a really great day, okay? Uh, yeah, you, you, you too, little lady. Okay, bye. And like the second, like she cannot be seen anymore. Just, ev just everything falls. She's like, Jesus. <laughs> and then she just like, then she keeps power walking. And right before she gets to where the two of you can perceive her, she stops and she's just very casual now. She's like, oh, 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 hi guys, hi, hi Zach, hi, hi, um, Jeff, Jeff. 
Yeah, Jeff. Right. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry. Uh, Margo, right? Yes. Yeah, Margo. Yeah. Yeah. You have a napkin. Me? I don't have a napkin. Yeah. Why would I have a napkin? I don't know. I don't have a napkin either. I ain't got a napkin. Well, yeah, but you probably okay. You you would need one. I don't. Yeah. Uh, Margo, we. Yes. Yes. We were wondering. Um, oh, Zach, I really, I really like that that shirt on you. That red is just really good for. Um, uh, yeah, it it just it's just really good. I think for your complexion, you know. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I can't believe no one's told you that before. It's so obvious. Uh, no, uh, it's just the red work shirt. Everyone wears it. But, oh right. But, oh right. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> well, well. Uh, you work in a candy shop, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, uh, me, me, me and my partner here, Jeff, I'm a partner friend. Uh, hey. He uh, and I were wondering if you wanted to hang out today. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, what? You what know. Do you mean? Like, oh, like, like, hang out, hang out, but yeah, like, we have jobs. We have, you know, I have, to, I have to. <laughs> you, you work in a candy store. It's not like you're like the secretary of the fucking United Nations or fucking whatever. Are you kidding me? To, to oh, a five-year-old, I'm like a queen. I'm the person who lets their mommies take them home with tons of candy. I'm just saying you can take a 10-minute break every once in a while if you want to hang out. Yeah. And, and you know this is the last chance we got before the end of the year. Like, senior hurrah, right? Uh, sure. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying no. It's just a little bit... Uh, kind of out of the blue, you know? I Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and, and Jeff kind of like meeting people out of the blue. It's, it's what we do. Hey! Hey, yeah. Um, okay, well, I do have to go open the candy store. Um, but... Uh, how about how about this then? We uh, I, I got a morning show in, and then after that movie starts... I'm free for about two hours, like a good two hours. Why don't you come hang out at the the the, the movie theater? Oh, like just you and me? I mean, with Jeff. I'm busy, or whatever. I, Jeff, I got to do a Street Fighter maintenance. All right, you okay. guys hang out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I would love to see, um, you know, what what it's like behind the scenes. <laughs> all right, all right, I can do that. Okay. All right. Um. All right. See you at like. Uh, yeah, like I'll, I'll 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 see you later. Yeah. All right. Just doing that thing where you walk backwards, but you're still facing. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then uh, oh, and then he looks over at Jeff. Zach Zach does and is like. Yeah. There was something weird about that, right? What do you mean? I mean, like, like she was really happy to hang out, right? Am I? Am I? Am I crazy? No, man, you're not crazy. You just have a certain animal magnetism that women can't say no to. Oh, wait, wait, wait what? No, oh. no. Yeah, it's like a pheromone thing, or. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Sort of like, you know, like when flowers and then hummingbirds show up. It's like oh. that. You got like nectar inside you, man. They just want to stuff their long tongues down your throat and pick it out. Okay, you need to... This is over now. You have to stop. <laughs> you're, ruining, you're ruining my life right now. <laughs> okay, okay. So we got that. Please stop Sorry. ruining my life. Oh my God. Laugh it on the play. <laughs> Flag on the play. All right, all right. So, so, so that scene's over. Um, so Aki, I think the next scene is yours, right? Yeah. So I think I think uh, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, we're starting to sort of reach the end of like kind of the morning rush 
all of and morning rush for the mall basically means everybody who's coming in for their first shifts there's like not really any cus like like customers here yet or guests like morning shift essentially pertains to like just the people who are employed in the outdoor mall coming by the restaurant to get their breakfast or whatever uh i want to say that uh <laughs> seal is outside in the back like where the dumpsters are taking a break after having been completely reamed by their boss for misplacing an order. Um, and, uh, <laughs> thanks, Jeff. Uh, and maybe, maybe they're just, um, uh, maybe they're just chilling out there listening to like music on like a, a headset and, um, like kind of just kicking a can around in the back. And, uh, I think that's where Zach and Jeff find find them uh, on in their attempts to track them down. Set. Well, I managed to not lose my job, so I guess everything is fine. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. So getting that sandwich out was of my amazing. Room. You owe me ten debucks. What's the debucks? You know what I meant. You owe me ten bucks. Okay. What do you two want? What, what, why do you think we want something? We can't just yeah. come hang out? Nobody ever just t- comes to hang out behind the restaurant next to the Stinky Dumpsters. I do a lot of hanging out in, in, in alleys while I work. Uh, it's it's way more fun. <laughs> no accounting for taste. Right. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, like, what what do you, what do you want? We're um we're gonna hang out with that girl Margot later, and uh, you know we just want to know if you wanted to to hang out to hang out with us. But. You're Two. you're hanging out with Margo. Yeah. Both she of you? seems cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. You know, we just thought uh, maybe you'd want to hang out because uh, you know you're all, you're alright. You want me to come and hang out yeah. with y'all. I feel as though I like fell into the twilight zone for just a second. Like, I, I am having a very difficult time understanding why either one of you would be interested in hanging out with me, or w- think I would be interested in hanging out with either one of you. Like, you do know I, I have like standards, right? Dude, I think she's. I, I think they're saying we're not cool enough to hang out. I mean, it. Are are you saying that? That 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 wounds me. I mean, I can't I can't help but think that like if you're asking me to hang out with you, you're either like really trying to up your cred or you have some sort of side hustle happening here. And you think I'm not follow fall into this? Well, you know, I mean. What if we didn't have like a side hustle, but like had like a front hustle? Explain. Mm. Sort of like um, sort of like you know, like when you're driving a car, you can't like drive it sideways. You just drive it forward. You're like aiming towards your goal. So that's what we're doing. So front hustle. It's like a car. And the goal is? Horse. Carousel. Car. Those were three separate phases that I'm sure in your heads make complete and total sense. But in my head have no context or any sort of through line. So carousel, horse, and a car, I don't... Put them together. But if you put them together, 
Are you trying to steal the carousel horse? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who said it. You will definitely get caught. Like, do you know the first thing about the way the carousel electronics work? Like, even a little bit? What's that got to do with the carousel? Like, the horse. Like, I'm just, just the horse. You can't just take the horse off. Like, you have to make sure it's, like, disconnected. And if you don't, like, you'll end up, like, shocking yourself. Hmm. I feel like one of you you guys should have to roll, right? <laughs> like, it just... To convince them. I keep forgetting that that's a thing, because, like... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you if you called it, uh, sure. Uh, Take it, Randy. Yeah. Take it, Zach. All right, are you aiding me? <laughs> yes, I will. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's a very good idea. I will aid you. All in right. This. Is this a cred roll or a corp? I guess this is a. Cred. I this is cred. This is definitely cred. At least in my mind. <laughs> Don't get too cred. Oh. Uh, oh I shit! Not. Oh no! You roll. I'm just. I'm just giving yeah. you an extra die. Right, right, right. Right. Whatever. I mean, okay. so you want to roll that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> two. So you rolled a two and a five. Yeah, the two means we we at least succeed because I have a three right now. Double dead uh, Oh, no, so it, it would be a complication if it was three. So two being under... So the, the numbers are It's like rolling with advantage in yeah. uh, another RPG. I see. Which has a GM. Yeah. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So, okay. I don't want either of the two of you to get thrown in jail because you decided to do something ridiculous without having any idea what you're doing. So if you're really going to attempt to pull this off, you need somebody who actually knows something about electronics. See, I told you they were going to be good for this. Bro. Just so happens, so I've been taking an electronics class in school, and I've been hoping to hone my skills. This seems like a good challenge. All right. I just... But... Oh. So, 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 you... so, so, Oh, I... We're going to have to make a deal, though. I... I need to get something out of this. All right. You want free movies? It's a start. You know, like we can start there. Some of the giant pixie sticks from the ticket thing, or you know, like a keychain or something. One of those parachute guys. I like you to stop coming to my restaurant and stealing food. Oh, bro. okay. Lobster rolls. How you you can pay. That? You could pay for your lobster rolls. Uh, bro, bro, and uh. Like Zach leans over and goes, bro, please, please, bro. I don't know how to make breakfast. This is the only food I eat in the morning. It's our last chance, bro. Do it for us. <laughs> you like elbow with him. <laughs> but it's because I love you and I respect you. And I want you to have everything you want in life, man. Especially that fucking horse. Okay. Seal, you got a deal. Cool. I, I am not no gross. So, 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 so. One thing. Gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing. Gross. Yes, okay. <laughs> Margo doesn't know about the deal. And that's where I want this. I mean, like, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could cut the <laughs> yeah. scene there for sure. That sounds good. Cool. All right. So that's the opening. And now yeah. I think there is an extra mechanic that happens after we've finished a beat. Yeah. So uh, what can happen is during this time, you can do very small short scenes where if you feel like one of your stats uh, like would go up or down, like you can explain how that happens. So maybe uh, to improve your your corporate, you decide to read uh, your store's handbook or, or something like that. Um, and it's just like, and, and by scene, I just mean like, I'm studying really hard and you know, <laughs> you, you just say that. I have, I have one really okay. fast. So I think that as a punishment for the, the lost lobster roll order, um, like my like 
seal was required to like watch a brief video on what to do when uh when you know you make a mistake with somebody's order like it's just like this little train like little shaming training video that somebody has to watch every time they make this mistake so i'm gonna uh boost my corp uh and turn that into a four and my cred into a three all right um i am i am going to um i'm gonna show uh kids how to snort pixie sticks and uh boost my cred (laughs) i i am very very like i go back to the the movie theater and like do the most minimum of work like i i push the button to turn the projectors on and like i am leaning on the glass just chilling no, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> I, I don't think I raise or lower anything. I just am like dreaming about the horse. Uh, yeah. You don't have don't, to do something. If yeah, you I don't. I don't. I, yeah, no, I don't think so. All right. So, because we started a little bit later, uh, usually there would be another beat called morning, uh, but. This is going to be lunch slash morning, so like late yeah, morning. Yeah, question about that. Yeah. What if we did more, just to the group, what if we did morning, but it was just like very short, like kind of like describe how you move forward or like yeah. maybe it's just with mm-hmm. you and no one else or something like that? Yeah, that maybe? sounds fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Because we're supposed I mean, to. None of us are in charge, so we want to do that. We do. I'm just saying, because then, you know, and also then we got to have Officer Tad around somewhere. I was going to say, one thing I'd like to at least make canon is that um, is that Officer Tad Fisher uh, kind of is coming around to like scope all the stores because there's been this spate of shoplifters and has made it clear, you know, it's like, hey, get my eye on everybody. No crime in my mall. You know, and he's like just letting everyone know he's like being extra and, uh, vigilant. And I think that when that happens, when Tad stops by the restaurant, um, Seal kind of kicks themselves mentally. He's like, you should have blamed it on a shoplifter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I almost forgot that we're doing that special scenario. Because remember, that means that we also have to roll at the end of the beat. For our so, detection. Oh, dang. Yeah, so all of us have to roll a 1d6, compare it to our detection number. And if that number rolled is lower, then it goes up. I mean, yeah. it's not going to happen. Obviously, we're all going to get, you know, a point of detection at this point because we have a zero right now. Yeah. Right, because we have it. Ha! All right. So we all get I it. I got as close as I could get to not rolling my number. <laughs> so I have, everybody has hey. one detection. Ditto. Okay. Ooh, so I maybe. <laughs> Did we all three do one? Three, one. We all just get one. What did you roll, Amanda? Five. A five. <laughs> so we all have one detection now. Um, so maybe a, a canonical thing is like he's coming around. He's like, saw you kids all uh, carousing earlier this morning. You're like chatting it up. Yeah, you got. Oh, you with a that. lobster sandwich. Like you pay for that. You know, he's like he's just like he thinks everyone's a criminal. Actually, Aki. Sorry, sorry. Just for the detection, I, I, I wanted to make sure. I don't think we get one. I think oh. we get one if we fail a roll, like trying to do our plan. Right, and right, right, for right. This, for uh. this, if if you roll greater than your detection number, you're still under the radar. So we're still because we haven't no, done. We're still anything. good. Cool, cool, cool. We haven't tried to do anything just yet. Yeah, yeah. Right, got right. it. Thank you for the correction. Yeah. All right. So it's if we fail a roll in service of our scheme. Yes. Yeah. Then our detection can go up. And then, and then at the end of every beat we roll. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I think as part of their 10 minute break, uh, like kind of halfway through their morning shift, uh, Seal takes takes a little walk over to the carousel and like tries to chat up the operator and like get some get some ideas on like the specs um, and stuff like that. Like just, just what kind of motor do you guys use? <laughs> yeah, just like how how are how are the uh, how are the horses hooked up uh, uh, to the actual electronics and like uh, what kind of pulley system is involved here? 
it's just sort of a general like yeah i do a, i do like I'm in a shop class and like we've been working on wiring and electronics in this like quarter and I just find it all really fascinating. I mean, maybe one day I'm gonna be an engineer. Like I've been looking at like applying to a couple of like really good engineering colleges, like schools and colleges. Yeah. Cool. So, I'm happy to roll for for something there. Like, cause that is in service. Yeah, I, in no, service that is in service the, of, of our, our plan. So I, yeah. I will say that. Also, I just want to know who the operator is. What do they look like? Uh, the operator is, I want to say, probably like a community college type kid who's like probably average height, maybe a little bit dumpy, um, really unassuming, uh, has like freckles and maybe a little bit of an overbite like he's not un un good like not good looking but like he's real unassuming uh i'm gonna say his name is charles and everybody calls him chuck um and like yeah he's just like an early early 20s kind of like this is this is what he's this is what's helping him get through community college essentially just like yeah all right all right it's a, yeah. so let's roll I am. Is this a cred or a corporal? Would you say? Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like this. This might be a. It so, depends. Like, I feel how like are you? How are you doing it? Are you trying to protect? Like, like I'm using my charm to kind of like you know casually schmooze. It's not anything like really like sneaky. It's just like very casual, kind of like. No, I just, I'm just really curious. That kind of sounds like cred to me. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a cred roll too. So it should be fun. Ah, I failed. <gasps> oh no. My, it's my, it's gotta be my, my, my number or below, correct? Right. Yeah, yeah, and I have a two in cred right now. Right, so yes, you do fail. And because that was in service of our plan, our plot, now you I'm have a detection that went up. So you did get your one, yay. Yay. <laughs> When I fail a roll, does anything else happen? Uh, so it depends on how high, but yes. Um, if you fail with a six, like there's some consequences. If you fail with a five, I believe, let me, I don't remember off the top of my head. I need to bring it back up. Uh, rolling, yeah. If you fail with uh, greater than the stat, you, you fail. Describe how things go wrong. If, if you roll a six, things are much more worse. All right, so I, I I'm trying to, you know, schmooze and get this information and kind of learn a little bit more about how the thing works. And I think that Chuck just starts to get really impatient because they're he's just trying to do his job. And I'm, you know, just this 16 year old like prep who's who thinks everybody should the whole world revolves revolves around them. And they're like, you know what? Get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to do my job. Like maybe try some other time. So uh, I think that that. Uh, Seal fails to get any piece of information out of out of Chuck. All right, so so we're in the next B, um, and let's do some scenes. Anyone have some ideas? You want to start? Wait, are we doing we're going to lunch now? Uh, we can. You said you wanted to do like a short morning. Oh, sorry. I thought that's what we were in the middle of doing. I thought that's what. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you have a short morning idea, Amen? Uh, oh no, now you're all staring at me. I, I really can't tell <laughs> no my pressure. eyes why If you don't have anything, like, that, that's the reason why it's possible to skip this if you need, if you need to do a shorter Yeah. Thing. So. No, we can just keep going. Okay. So. Um, let's see. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. And, I mean, technically, since we did a short little morning, do we want to roll again? <laughs> For detection? Or um, I mean, not, we yeah, didn't I don't, have any, like, I yeah, has, Most of us are at zero. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I think definitely. the only one who really, who, <laughs> the only one who really risked anything was me. So I, I think that that, that yeah. should be fine. Margo well, doesn't even know that there's crime that, going on yet. Yeah, Margo, so, yeah. Margo doesn't know that the rest of the never will. is going to invite them in <laughs> to this crime. It's time, it's time for a hangout date, I think. I'm going to, I'm going to claim this first scene because I want to set up a scene for Margo and uh, Zach. Uh, where they were meeting at the theater during uh, their respective breaks to hang out. Um, yeah, so go. Oh no, yeah, no, you know what the morning beat was? 
her spending her 10 minute break in the bathroom, smoothing her <laughs> shirt over and over again and tossing her hair and just like wishing she had more makeup to put on. So yeah, so she's walking over there. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I think there's like a side, I bet there's like a do side door to knock on or something. So she's like, knocks. <laughs> Uh, opens the door and goes, Usually this is the part where I'd ask for your ticket, but you're a special guest. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. A me? Oh, no. Nah. Just a guest. Just Good. a guest. Come in. Uh, Thanks. Okay. We've got popcorn, slightly burnt. We've got soda. We've got candy. I know you spend all day with candy, but we got some other. Not yeah, as cool I, I, I can't have any of that. But thank you. You can't have any of that. No, it's 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 really bad for you, you know. <laughs> yeah, and you work at a candy shop, but you don't eat candy. No, I don't. He starts like grabbing some like Mike and Ike. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just I don't I don't like sugar, you know, like it's. And she's just like looking at them. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Looking at the looking at those Mike and Ike. So, um, but yeah, you know, I'm uh, I'm, I guess, here to hang out. Cool. Uh, this is the movie theater. There's uh, a showing of that sci-fi movie over there. You know, it's a Friday. <laughs> Oh, yeah, um, could you show me, could you show me, like, what one of those projector rooms look like? I, I mean, yeah, I, I mean... I just I, always wanted to see it from the other way, you know? Well, uh, okay. Uh, he starts sort of really awkwardly walking. Uh, yeah, so we we climb this ladder. It's, it's up here. Oh, okay, um... You go first. All right. Um, <laughs> as, as he's climbing, he's like, you go first. <laughs> uh, that is not at all what I was thinking, but yes, sure. No, yes. no, 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 no. I no, it was more like she didn't want you to see her. So she was like, no, you go. Oh, no, it's fine. You're allowed to scope his buns. <laughs> Do the bun scope. All right. So, so, uh, so uh, they get up to the the projector booth, opens the door. Yeah. Voila. Wow. Wow, that's so cool. I just, you know, I, I, I one day when um, I get to be in the movies, um, you know, it's going to be good to know what it looks like from all sides of the camera. Oh, right, right. You're you're in that acting class. At school. Yeah, drama club, theater. Uh, yeah. That's right. What was that show I saw you in? It was like Um Did you oh, did you come to the musical? Yeah. Yeah, there was lots of singing and dancing. I, I, yeah, oh yeah, no, we did sweet charity. If that's what you say. Yeah. Okay. But I I mean yeah. It was it was fun. There was that guy who fell over. Remember that? <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. But oh. um, it was it was funny though. It was funny though. Yeah, it was really funny. It was hard not to laugh, you know. So but we're professionals. Oh, nice. Show oh, must go on. I'm excited to see you when you get in those movies. And he kind of like lightly punch, like like tap punches your arm. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. So, you've seen up here? Yeah, okay, yeah, no, I just, thank you for showing me. Um, 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 just trying to desperately to think of something else <laughs> for um, y'all to do. Yeah, um, yeah, um, I mean, look, uh, Margo, Margo, right? <clears throat> yeah, Margo. Um, I think you're really cool. And me and Jeff really, really want to 
hang out tonight. Um, we're thinking we, we you have that really cool van, right? Oh no, it's a Jeep. Jeep. The more the better. There's like room in the back for 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 lots of people, right? Um, I mean it's. I guess, yeah. I mean, it. I think the commercial says it seats seven. Do the seats go down? Is there, you know? <laughs> and she just like is deeply blushing now, and she's just like, just can't. Um. <laughs> oh no! Continue, please. I feel like I should have popcorn or something. This is great. <laughs> So, um, uh, what was whoo. the question again? Oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they yes, yeah. I mean, the the front seats, you know, they fold back, and then the the second row it folds down um, to make like a big. The, it, she stops from saying like bed <laughs> in the back, like a truck bed. She's like, um. And, and, yeah, and, in case you need to put something, you know, big back there. And you start, you start noticing that, like, when you almost say that and start, like, stop. The same kind of thing happens to Zach. Zach is kind of nervous. Like, he's visibly kind of awkwardly nervous. Um, I mean, are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad we're hanging out, you know? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, um, she just kind of like, like she, oh, I, I, I'm just looking, my, my, my lunch is almost over. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, um, me too. Uh, I mean, not that I'm gonna do much else after, but my lunch is also almost over. Um, how about, how about we hang out? Uh, with with Jeff, you know Jeff. Also, Seal, you know the the four of us. Party. You... Oh, I I didn't know you were you, you both were friends with Seal. That seems that's weird. Friends I mean, might, might, um, might not be the right word, but yeah. I, I, I did, no, I didn't mean weird. It's just um, you know. Oh no, C Seal has made it very clear. Me and Jeff are not cool enough for Seal, but. You know, no, I'm sure. No, you guys are so cool, right? Like, I mean, I don't know about Jeff. Um, I don't know him very well, but he doesn't see. Oh. I, I doubt he cares what I think anyway. So it all works we out. We care right? what you think because we oh. need your help. Oh. And uh, okay, <laughs> look. And then uh, I'm probably gonna have to roll, but I want to. Uh, really try hard to convince Margot to be a part of this this plot. So, I mean, he's about to give you at least the, the rough idea of it, that there is a prank that he needs your help to do, and only you can help. Like, just, good, like, very big, like, you can see there is desperation in his eyes. Okay, so... I mean, like he wants this prank, you guys. He wants it bad. <laughs> is this a, a, I guess this is a cred roll? Yeah, cred? I mean, I, I, I think. Uh, yeah. Or maybe, it actually. Be a pork roll, because it's. I mean, it's to our plan, right? Like, it is yeah, a yeah, plan, yeah. but I don't know. It's not really like work. Yeah. I don't... You're, you're probably trying to. I would imagine if you're attempting to convince Margot specifically right. something, you're trying to to call Margot into it. Like, like it's not bad. It's it's actor training. <laughs> Think, like it'll make you a better actress. Like, and we'll be hanging out. Is what it is. <laughs> so I mean, you can. I don't know if you what what you feel, but I'm gonna roll. I got a one. So that should be a success, but that since this is your character, I want, like, you can, I want so, to- Oh, it should be a success? I, I mean, at least according to the die, but Okay, like, yeah, no, I get, sorry. 
I, I, yes. Um, uh, then if you want her to say yes, mm -hmm. you will probably have to ask her and then like either kiss her hand or like give her a peck on the cheek as like incentive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what I, you know what I mean? Like you yeah, have to no, give yeah, her yeah, yeah. kind of incentive. So. Yeah. He'll do that. Um, very awkward. Like he's like, Nev, like, you know, he's a bit nervous around the ladies. Okay, but yeah, that that will that will absolutely convince her <laughs> uh, and make your role a success. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so he, so this is what I imagine. Because uh, I, I kind of want this to be my scene as well. Like, mm. I just feel okay. like since it's so long, I also like sort of cut up. We're we're in this. Uh, I want like so he's he's telling you the story, and I imagine maybe that uh, Margot is just like, no, <laughs> like, like, probably not, right? Um, and he goes, and and he breaks for a second. He's like, Margot, I really need this. I need I need your help. Like, I'll do anything. And he kisses her hand, and he's like, please. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Whoa! That's that's uh, that's all it took. <laughs> oh. What? Jeff, no! 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 Jeff was right. <laughs> he said it like. <laughs> what do you? What? What you a. Know, what a boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I, no! Uh, no! She's just like standing there. Oh no! 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 And, no! And I'm not, she, I don't mean. I don't mean that. I mean. Oh, she, and, I mean, oh yeah! No, she's. Now. She like shoves you out of the way and like runs out of the movie theater, you bastard. <laughs> um, oh, I'm so pleased. Yep. Cool. That that went well for absolutely no one. No one. <laughs> um, I. <laughs> he is dumb. Ah, uh, teenage I, boys. I wanna. I I wanna make my own role. Then uh, yeah. I want him to see if she can manage to keep it together so that she can go back to work. I want to see if she could mm. corp herself enough that she, yeah, that she, and like pull yeah, it, that, for it. Um, yeah, for sure. So most of them are still at three. It's a one. Does that mean I can't? I don't remember. It's a success. Yes, it's a yeah. success. So yes, uh, and then the di and then I don't have to move. I don't move one of these, right? I don't turn. So, you you mean your your stats? I'm really bad at the mechanics. I'm sorry. No, no, there it's, aren't it's, even that uh, many. No, no, it's it's there's this is the the thing. You can uh, voluntarily move one point from cred to corporate by taking on more responsibilities, or by publicly agreeing with someone in power. I think, like. Uh, so I feel like I want to up it just for her, like, yeah, keeping it together and basically being the yeah. man for and making, like, yeah, putting her professional stuff above anything else. So that so could I be, I am gonna do that. Um, but I do succeed in keeping it together, and all right, there we go. Uh, um, uh, yep, cool. Right, so, so that was my was, scene, it was your scene, and, my scene, and yeah. then, um, uh, I'd like to set up a scene if I could, um in which uh, <laughs> Officer Tad Fisher uh, has now come to the restaurant where Seal works and is interrogating them about this missing sandwich. <laughs> I already fucking watched my training video. You don't have to, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. me about the sandwich. Buddy, I need you to calm down and take a breath because you are speaking to an officer of the mall law. What do you want, Officer Fisher? What I want to do is catch these monsters who are plaguing this mall. Isn't that and why we have lifting shop and taking sandwiches? Isn't this why we have cameras? Yes, but legally, I'm not allowed to watch that footage because it's an invasion of privacy. 
<laughs> well, who exactly is allowed to watch that footage then if you're not? Legally, I'm not told who can watch that because that is also an invasion of privacy. That is not my job. My job is to keep everybody in this mall safe, including you. Yeah, I feel real safe right now. I bet you'd feel a lot safer if you told me that you stole that sandwich. I didn't steal it. Who did? I don't know. Was it the carousel guy? I saw you were talking his ear off. Chuck? Nah, Chuck's harmless. That's what they all say. To their pockets are lined with sandwiches. They're out there selling them on the side of the road. <clears throat> Who is selling sandwiches on the side of the road who isn't in a food truck? I don't know. That's not my job. I worry about the mall, okay, kid? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Listen, I don't know who stole a sandwich. I just work here. They don't pick me enough to know who steals shit. You have to roll for that. Yep. (laughs) I know. (laughs) So shit. I'm trying. I'm attempting to do a cred roll. A kid who is not, who does not have a lot of cred. Here we go. Ha! Ah, I failed. <laughs> okay. I rolled a four, and my cred is two. Oh, they don't pay you enough to know who steals. Well, they no. pay me enough. And I know you're full of malarkey. You're a menace, kid. You and all your deadbeat friends and Chuck. Keep my eye on you. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, while you're in this mall, not on camera. Okay. Sure. Good. Can I go back to work now? I guess. I'm gonna kill Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. All right. So, is that all four scenes? I don't think, uh, unless that little tiny scene. Where, right. where, did Did you consider that little tiny scene with uh, Margot your your scene? Mine. Oh, I mean, no, 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 the, the, no the Amanda needs to see yeah. yeah, Amanda. Do you consider that that Margot rolls to hold together your scene? I forgot that that wasn't my... Okay, yeah. Uh, right. I totally Wait, forgot I, that that wasn't my scene. Um, it could be your scene if you wanted it to. Yeah, you know, like... I... Yeah, what you got? I would like... Yeah, you know what? Like, um... <laughs> <laughs> Margo is gonna Oh no, I think my headphones are about to die. Um shoot. Um, alright. No, uh, Margo is gonna go over to the arcade. She's just gonna march right in there. She's going to find Jeff. She's going to grab him by the by the hand Whoa. and start dragging him out of the arcade. And she's like, hey, come with me, okay? I'll 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 buy you a sandwich. All right. <laughs> okay. That's all right. I had to stay. Jeez. Well, I'm sorry. I was in a hurry, and I thought you might, you know, just equivocate and just for a while, and and it would just waste time. So I thought we'd get going. God, what does that even mean? Uh, what? Equivocate. What does that mean? I don't know. Whatever. Well, it doesn't matter. Um. What kind of sound? Yeah, I, I don't really know. It just sounded dramatic. It does sound dramatic. Yeah, <laughs> it does, right? Um, and anyway, come, we're going. We're going this way. Just come this way. Cool. Hey, uh, you kids, just, just take care of the arcade. Whatever. It's fine. Where Did you already going? take your lunch break? No, but I'm not gonna. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's no. cool, I guess. I already took mine too, but I'm, I'm taking my 15 um, early. Um, so, uh, I yeah, I, I don't know. I just thought, yeah, let's go, you know, for a walk. <laughs> yeah. So Have you been that... on this side of the mall recently? What? Oh. Side that I've been to. Have you 
Do you, I don't know. Do you, I don't Over know. Here? Yeah. I don't know. I don't really remember it. It sort of looks as similar to the other side, so. Uh, yeah, they just have a. Bu- it's had different stores, but yeah. otherwise, it's totally the same. Um, oh man, what if they didn't though? If they, if they did, okay, and, and they they they're <sighs> having the same kinds of conversations. <laughs> they get, they get to the movie theater, and, and can I just? I am at the like counter, just banging my head. <laughs> No, but she she waits until until you look up to, so that in your full line of sight, and then does the does one of those like fake like laughs at Jeff, grabs him by the face and just lays one on him, and then like grabs his hand and drags him out the door. Okay. Well. All right. And then, thanks. All right. Bye. I'll see you later. And totally. She, There you go. And scene. Yeah. Oh man. I'm, Drama I'm, in this mall. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask because that was a highly chaotic move on your part. Yeah. How open to moving a a point towards cred would you be? Uh fine. Yeah. That was that was that was chaos and impulsive. Chaos, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. I I now have a pair of fours. Um oh, no, does it move in op- it moves in opposite opposite directions. Oh I thought they were independent. okay. Yeah. It's so, like a pendulum. So you're back to three and three. Back to three. And just back to three. Okay. okay. So right. now we have our moment where we can take our beat to voluntarily move one from the other if we want to. Um and then we also have to roll for detection. All right. Uh, Tad's bad at his job so far. Hmm? Tad is very bad at his job so far. I mean, we haven't done any, like, much yet. I know! <laughs> uh, and, and and because of me, I don't think uh, Mark goes into the plan anymore, so. Uh, it's true. Uh, let me roll. Uh, I'm still good. I have not been detected by one. Tad yeah. Fisher, even though he's on my case. All right, Tad's on the case. Yep. Uh, Does anybody want to volu- like spend their time doing like a quick shift from one to the other? I feel like I'm good. I don't think that um, that a uh, seal needs to move anything. No, but uh, I feel pretty good. I feel like, so yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I feel like uh, not move anything, but just for for a quick scene, like, uh, like when before you walked in, he was banging his head on the thing, like, oh, idiot, kind of thing, right? And then that happened, and he was like really confused by it, and he was like, I gotta, and then he starts heading to the arcade to see Jeff because. This plan is not happening yet, and we need to get on the play. Mm. That's it. Just walking to the arcade. So I think like the 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 first scene is uh is is Tad. I feel like uh and uh if you would like to be Tad, I would love Amanda to be Tad. <laughs> uh. So what am I doing? Sorry, give so me my. I, I, I am I am like power walking through the mall. So so also moving very hastily, and Tad is on his uh or yeah on his hunt to uh. It's on his segway is what he's on. Whoa! Yes, yes Mom he is. Mall cop on a segway. Yeah. yeah. Whoa 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 there, buddy. Where are you going in such a hurry? Um, uh, arcade. Nowhere! That's right! You don't need to go anywhere in such a hurry. Uh, no. I need to go talk to my friend in the arcade. And you think endangering the people who come to this mall to spend their hard-earned money? You think that they should have to pay for that? I'm endangering somebody by power walking? Yes! What if you have to do that every morning? Some tiny old man is... What about the old people? 
They power walk in the mall all the time. Who are they going to knock over other than each other? An old, an old, an old woman power walking into you is going to knock you over. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Because I don't buy it. Okay. So I'm. You I'm haven't walking. given me a single satisfactory answer in this entire encounter between the two of us. Slow down. Stop wasting my time. Every time you make me stop. He's going to start walking away. Again. He's going to start walking away. Hey! <laughs> just like goes just back back a little bit. You know, you know, mall jail is real, right? It is where we get to put you until the police come to take you to the real jail. All right. Mall cop. Yep. I make more money than you, you know. You show a little respect. Yep. Right. Yep. You're a little segue. Get out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face. As as he uh as he walked away, here's the segue start moving. He goes, Chief Winter Cup and then starts running. (laughs) Screech. (laughs) Nice. He's he's definitely gonna pay closer attention. Oh, to oh, I'm de- that's definitely yeah. My detector yeah. level. Is I was like, should yeah, should you have, yeah? That should be oh, a thing yeah. now. That's, yeah, yeah. You're on. You're just poking the bear. You're poking the bear, son. <laughs> you're poking the bear. Yeah. All right. Um, that was your scene. Cool. Yep. Wait for what? <laughs> I don't know where we. Yeah, we are. We, oh, yeah, what, we are, are we? in a. Uh, we are like in mid-day? our. We're, we're we're in the. the we're in the fourth scene of yeah. of yeah. the scenario, which is oh gosh, what's the day? Uh, we are actually we're in we're in evening now. Yeah, so we're starting to wind down the day. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's because we, we we skipped that. We Having skipped gotten that. not at all close to committing. No, we're, we're <laughs> I, I'm going to end this so sad. Yeah. No, no, no. So, no. So, we're, now that we're winding down the day, there's time to like really scope out our options. So, right. I think I'm gonna go last here so that I can see what else develops. To cool. So I I think I'm gonna go on my uh, with my scene, and I think what happens is that uh, Seal is also headed towards the arcade, and they they are passing by the carousel, and like they've realized that they're not getting answers from Chuck, so like they're gonna attempt to do a little bit of a sneak and see if they can get a look at like you know. The, the 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 power box basically that Chuck works from, uh, and so they wait until Chuck like steps away to take a break or whatever, and like you know there's the uh, we'll be back soon carousel you know on pause or whatever the sign is, and like see if they can get in there and take a quick look um, before heading towards the arcade. Um, so, but the the way they are gonna go about this is that. Um, they are, they are putting up like wet floor signs around the carousel so nobody <laughs> will approach it. Um, you know, cause they, people have to follow the rules. Like the wet sign rules are like really important and you don't want to slip and you don't want to fall. They don't want anyone to approach this area and possibly catch them. So like they take a couple of the wet floor signs from the restaurant and stick them up by the carousel and see if they can do the thing. I'm gonna roll. Gonna, I'm thinking this. Time. I've done nothing but cred rolls, even though I'm a corp character. It's real. Well, I think there's a corp way to approach actually doing what you're about to do. Mm-hmm. I was gonna Pitch. say like this. This feels very much like you're just like, like you're doing the appropriate things, right? You're like, well, to keep the area safe. I to put down the signs like, uh, and like there's like an approach yeah. to being like i'm doing this as a rules move mm-hmm. all right mm-hmm. cool and i'll go yeah. ahead and go ahead sorry that was the, that was one of the more interesting things that matthew talked to us about is where like you can accomplish the same thing in two completely different approaches and how you i i think that's really cool just yeah. anyway that's just a great I, I know that i know that they are trying to take a very corporate game. a very core approach to this it's like uh, in order to maintain the safety of the area and make sure that, like, I am also not disturbed and 
creating a scenario in which like people are are being forced to avoid this area. Um, so yeah, I'll roll my corporal. I got uh, under my number, which means I succeed. Ye. Um, and uh, he gets up to the box and they open it up a little bit and they look, take a look at all like the different switches to see how they're labeled. Uh, and they like, they pull out their little flip phone and they kind of like, they flip their phone open and they take a little, one of those really grainy pictures of, of the box and then snap it closed and stick it back in their pocket um, and then head off to the arcade. And that is my scene. All right. Um, I think my scene is going to be me um, kind of wandering like the back like hallways of the mall trying to figure out um, how to get to the candy store uh, you know without like going through the main mall but like I, I don't know where the fuck anything is um and and bumping into uh, <laughs> maybe bumping into like some shoplifters. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that has value. <clears throat> well. What's up? I don't know what he's doing here. Um, what are you doing here? Uh, nothing. None of your business. We're just headed. We're just headed to our car. Yeah. Right on. What you got there? Stuff. Yes, yeah, stuff. Like pretty cool stuff. Like normal everyday, out of nothing, out of the ordinary stuff. Our stuff. Yeah, definitely ours. I mean, like, look, man, I don't even know why you'd even try to get normal, everyday, ordinary stuff anymore. We live in the modern era. You can find amazing stuff. Why aren't you trying to get that kind of stuff? Cause... I'm just saying. It's a modern renaissance. You're weird. Yeah. You're weird. Fair. Why, why are you talking to us, weirdo? Why, why are we weird? You're into normal stuff. I find that unbearable. Hey, do you guys know how to get to the candy store? Um, um, I think you have to go the other way. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Don't you work here? I mean, you're wearing a uniform. Yeah. But I'm not the guy who, like made the map. Just because I work here doesn't mean I know how to get around. You know what I mean? I mean, there is probably <laughs> a map you could look at to find the yeah. candy store. It's literally right yeah. over there. Oh my god. Alright, look, here's the deal. If you two kids can show me how to get to the candy store, I'll give you like Hundred free tickets in the arcade. Yo, he just said hundred free tickets. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, it's uh, you go up the escalator and turn right. Oh my god, I'm not gonna remember all that. You gotta take me. We, we can't, we can't, we can't wait, go wait. back inside the mall. Why not? It's open, it's still open. The mall's not closed, man. You can just go right in. It's cool. We can't. We don't want to, or I don't want to. We we oh, should we valid. have to we have to go home. Like, yeah, right now with all of our ordinary stuff that belongs to us. Right, righteous. Um, so, um, you have a car. I mean, that's how we got here. Cool. How big is it? I mean, it's. It's a normal four-door car. Fit a horse Stop in it. Selling him stuff. I don't. 
I don't know what to do. Like, he's really weird. We should well, go. He's... We should, like, get out of here. So weird. Whatever, man. <laughs> Not weird. You're, you're the weirdo, man. The only man answer fit a horse in a car. Why Wait, would a what? horse fit in a car? I don't know. What kind of car you got? You? I told you what a kind four of car. Door. We had. A regular four door car. All right. What, like a horse? An entire horse? What? what, what why? A small like, horse. A small horse. A small horse. Like a pony? Well, like, not like. Like. I don't know. I don't know how big a pony is. I feel like. I feel like we should get out of here. Yeah, I, I feel very, very not safe with this man. <laughs> so weird. Weird. Yeah. See you later, loser. Totally. <laughs> Have fun with your normal stuff, your normal life, your normal car. No yeah. horse in it. Will we'll do. <laughs> Kids are weird, man. <laughs> what a what a weirdo. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. All right. So uh, I think it is now time for Amanda's scene, but we have lost Amanda temporarily. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you not know. What has occurred? What has a moment. Um, um, that said, uh, maybe what we can do, since uh, this is essentially the end of the, the time frame until Amanda gets back, we could do a couple of things uh, until she returns. Yeah. Um, uh, so, firstly, uh, I guess we can roll our detection and we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, um, I've actually, I feel like in, um, in trying to get the shoplifter kids to help yeah, me out, no, anyway, I, 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 got that I actually feel like I've, yeah. I've failed in a, uh, in an attempt to aid our scheme. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, oh, she's back. So, yay! Yay! So does that give, that gives me one more detection, right? That's yep. the idea? Yeah, great. Okay, so I'm going to add it. Actually, for sure failed real hard you didn't have to yeah, roll for that, that was, crazy. Was I was like so weird and I love chat you're thieves <laughs> sorry what did I miss I'm sorry I accidentally no. unplugged the internet you're okay you're fine uh, I legit unplugged the internet I forgot that I was hard cabled in <laughs> yeah. you are you are good fam we were just we were just talking we were we weren't sure how much longer you'd be gone so we did did, did you're you the last scene no, no, he did not succeed <laughs> in convincing the shoplifters to help him. I don't know why they thought I was weird. Um, <laughs> so honestly, I like I kind of need you got your your help just because you know Margot's still not really it. She doesn't even know what the plan is other right, than right. yeah. So like I, I'm have, not have quite sure. Seal. Yeah, have a scene have with a Seal. Seal. Because it's been mentioned that Seal was going to hang out later uh, with with Jeff and Zach, and and you can see what, them what the fuck is the deal? Them. Yeah, you can see them like heading towards the arcade. Maybe you can intercept them on the way there. Sure. Okay. Sure. Hey, uh, Seal. Margot. Yeah. 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 We're we're uh, we're in English together. Yeah, we are. You're like really good. I remember when we were reading Romeo and Juliet, your Juliet was great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome. Yeah, um, like you're really you're really talented. Oh <laughs> that's yeah, I mean I try. <laughs> Thank you though. That's I I'm sorry, I don't know how to take a compliment. You're gonna have to learn if you're if you're gonna become a professional actress someday. Yes, I mean I that's to, that's I, that's what you're going to do, right? I don't know. You seem like a type to me. Um. Well, yes, my mom agrees with you. <laughs> um. I mean, yes, no. I, I really, I really, really like being in in theater and being the the head of the drama club. And and um, I'm gonna go to. I'm taking a, a gap year. Um, and you know, then maybe I'm gonna. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go to Yale or Juilliard. I hope really, really ambitious. Pretty cool. I'm hoping to get into like a really good engineering school. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, Sorry, I, really, I don't know anything about engineering, but it's, it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of math. It's a lot of math. Oh, um, yeah. And you know, some science here and there as well, but mostly just a lot of math. Uh, 
I remember when I was young, like super hated math, but like when I realized I wanted to be an engineer, like that kind of kicked my ass into gear. Anyways, I heard that you got roped into this nonsense. I was going to, I was going to ask you what the nonsense was. No, um, um, Zach didn't manage to tell me before my lunch ended and I had to leave. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Zach, I think Zach is, uh, starting to feel his senioritis like super hard and wants to pull off like the prank of the century or whatever in order to like make his mark on our little town. And he's got his eyes set on a particularly large prize. And I think that's part of the reason why he asked you to be a part of this, because you have like the biggest car of anyone that we know. It's a really nice car, by the way. Oh, thanks. It was my uncle's. Cool. Um, you know the carousel? You mean the one that's sitting in the middle of the mall? Yeah. And yeah, you know, yeah, I know it. Yeah. You know, like the really pretty sparkly horse that all of the kids are constantly fighting to get on? Oh, yeah, that's Roberto. It has a name? <laughs> I didn't know there were, I didn't know it had a name. Oh, um. Yep. According. I mean, my sister used to work at the mall, too, um, and that was what she told me that his name was. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but it just felt like a, like a tradition thing, you know? So I just tell people his name is Roberto, too. No, I don't think that's ridiculous at all. Like, those kinds of things are what make, you know, places like this special. This is little, little, yeah, it's, that's neat. They, they want to steal Roberto? Yes. But Why? Like I said, I think I think uh, I think Zach just wants to feel like he's accomplished something. He's I don't know if you notice he's a bit of a slacker. He he wants to accomplish vandalism and robbery. I guess so. Well, I have to tell you, I am rather disinclined to help him. What happened? I mean. Nothing. Besides the fact that you... Wait. That doesn't sound like nothing to me. Well, whether it was or wasn't, see all we're not really friends like that, you know? That's fair. I mean, to be perfectly honest, the only reason I'm doing this with them is is that they won't get caught. Because if the two of them get caught, it's not gonna... If it were me, like, I get a slap on the wrist. People chalk it up to me just being, you know, silly. I like it's. I've, 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 I've built up enough, you know, good points with most people. You know, nobody's gonna look at this and see a threat. But like Jeff, he gets in trouble and like he goes away for the rest of his life. We never see him again. Next time we do see him, he's like falling out of the trailer park or something like that. I don't know. And why, then, why, why would I care what? Okay, why would I care what happens to Jeff? And then if if Zach gets caught, you know, no I, definitely, I definitely don't care what happens to Jeff. Or sorry, what happens to Zach? <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I get. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I don't. I don't really. I, it's not Jeff's fault that. Zach's a big fat jerk um, and has terrible ideas. Um, I feel like he would probably follow someone anywhere if they fed him a meal. That's not wrong. He's constantly stealing food from a restaurant and I keep giving it to him and I don't know why. Um, because, because I, I don't know. I don't know why. He's got this way of, like, getting people to do what he wants. It's very weird. I mean, I got him to do what I wanted earlier. Can't be that, not like that. Um, although he does smell nice, so he's got that going for him. Smells nice? Yeah. Never noticed. But yeah, the way I see it is... They probably roped you and I into it because 
we're a lot less likely to get in trouble if we get caught than they are. But again, why? Why would I? That's the question I'm asking you too. Why did you agree to do it in the first place? She just like mumbles something. <laughs> I can't hear you. You're gonna have to speak up. Cause, cause I had crush on Zach for like a year and a half, but that's over now. Oh no. What did that dumb boy do? Kiss my hand, and then he told me that he, that wow, it, that was all it took to, to get me to do what he wanted. Yeah, that that's okay. Bad. No, no, that's okay, you know, because we picked ourselves up and we dusted ourselves off, and then we marched over to the arcade and grabbed Jeff by the hand and dragged him back over to the movie theater and kissed him on the mouth right in front of Zach. And then I left. Too much drama for me. <laughs> I didn't want any drama. I just wanted someone to make out with. I mean, you want to make out? We can make out. I'm good with making out. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> cool. And yeah, when you guys walk up on, when you guys finally rock up on the arcade, everybody meets there. You you see Seal and and, uh, and uh, Marco making out. Whoa, whoa. Bro. And I think that's the end of our evening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been out glasses. <laughs> all right so then yeah we roll detection again uh right it's, it's... there's one more of these yeah. uh day scenes that we skip correct yeah so it's uh i mean technically it's evening that you skip and then we go to closing but we did evening well i mean so... that was technically closing right right did, so yeah. that can kind of easily go both ways oh now is the time. Pew pew. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. So this is the after hours. So this is our our, our last chance to. Last chance. To do the crime. Yeah. Or slash do the time. Uh, All right. Time for the dun 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 dun. So, uh, did we roll for uh, deception? I think we're all pretty low, well but. Uh, Thank you, Exo Girl Wonder. Oh, thanks. Yes, thanks for the donation. Thank you. I think there's a toast as well. It sounds. Oh, like. do we have a oh. do we have a cheese? Hold on. Let me just I don't have a beverage. It. Nope, not nope, a toast. not yet. No, nope, I thought no new toast yet. Okay. Whatever. But that being said, yeah, don't forget that if you can help us get two hundred and fifty dollars in donations today, uh, help us hit our goal. That would be super, super awesome. And you can also still buy us uh, messages. Um, maybe they pop up over the intercom at the mall. Um, and uh, yeah, 150 subs is our, our, our uh, season long sub goal. And you know, y'all are doing a pretty good job on those subs today. So we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so. All right. So uh, before, before we move on to after hours, I would like to say that I think I think that that whole moment with um, with uh, Margot and attempting to kind of get her back on side for this thing is uh, an opportunity to move my stats around again. Mm. Um, and since it is in the effort, uh, I probably should have rolled to see whether or not I convinced her. And then if I fail that roll, that can that can screw with my with my stats a little bit. So. Uh, I'm gonna roll and see how I do. I rolled a five, which is uh, a failure. So I think that I'm gonna have to move. I, I have a detection of two now because I failed something in the attempt to 
uh, get the mission. And I think I'm gonna move some. Uh, I'm gonna move a point out of court and into red. So I'm gonna split three three again. Okay. And so I think. Would... Uh, sorry, Go I was gonna do, I, I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna move my. I'm gonna move a step closer to uh, Cred. Uh, mm-hmm. Just because of of that last scene, uh, yeah. so now I've got a red. Uh, wait, that's point. I don't know five. Credit, two, yeah, what credit four. Yeah. Credit four in a in a corp of two. I think is where you're at. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Because you went up and then back and then went back. Okay, up. okay. Yeah. Um, if we're doing small scenes in betweens. Um, I think while Jeff has been wandering the back hallways lost, um, maybe he's, um, wandered up onto like, a like a sporting goods store or, uh, you know, uh, like a, you know, a Bass Pro Shops type joint, uh, something that's not copyrighted. Trout. Varsity type place. <laughs> um, uh, Trout and, Varsity and- Shop. Welcome to Trout Varsity Shop. How can I help you for all of your outdoor needs? Um, and has decided, and after seeing the shoplifters kind of wandered into Trout Varsity the back way and was like, and swiped an axe. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm going to move from Corp to Cred. To- so the back, so the back door. Uh, of the building you went in. How did you, like, was it just open? I, I, I just want to know for my short scene. I would, yeah, I, I think it was because I'm going through like the back hallways where the employees kind of move around, yeah. you know, the secret tunnels. And so, yeah, it was just open. So it's basically just like he just like walked in thinking it was the candy store and wound up in like a stock room of this place and was like, oh, oh. All right. Sweet Please. axe. So can I, can I say a short scene then? Yeah. Uh, after you leave, that door is still slightly ajar. Uh, and Tad. It's is not walking. ajar, it's a door. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yep, yep. That was a joke that was made, you guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, basically, uh, Tad is riding uh, his Segway in the hallways, and he's sort of like looking around, being extra vigilant, and then he stops. <laughs> And he gets up and he goes, it's after closing. What's this door? And then he goes over to it and he goes, the shoplifters. And he pulls out a notepad and starts jotting really furiously. And he goes, I will catch. And that's the end of the scene. <laughs> nice. Yes. All right. Tad. <laughs> it is time to do a crime. But first, you must catch a couple of people making out. <laughs> um. All right. So. Let's see. Uh, so, how late in the day are we? I, we're, this is closing time? Is that where yeah. we're at? Closing okay. time. I'd say that it's about like eight, maybe eight or nine. Yeah. At night. Well, remember, one of these. We, we, we are cutting, right? Like, we have one. This is our last beat. Yeah, this my is the last. Yeah, this yeah. is the last beat. After hours. So it's, it's clothing. So, yeah. yeah. The after hours. Uh, all right. I think, uh, I think, I think it's been a while since Jeff and Zach had a moment to talk. I think this would be a nice time. Okay. Um, I'll just, I'll amble into the movie theater, um, uh, Axe in hand. <laughs> bro. Bro, bro. Check it out. It's awesome. But put it know, away. Right? Put it Can away. Ha- no, what are you doing? Can you take it. Well, otherwise I gotta walk back to the arcade. You no, 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 I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Right. Put it in the popcorn or whatever. Put it in the popcorn? I don't know. I hide it. That's cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and he climbs over and puts it into the popcorn machine for a little bit. And he Precious. goes, all right, I turned the popcorn machine off. It's fine. It's fine. Dude, um, you're a genius. Yeah. 
Your ability to plan ahead honestly astonishes me at every level. I wake up in the morning, I think. I bet Zach already knows what's happening today. Uh, yeah, I know everything that's happening except when to shut my stupid mouth. Why would happen? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I was like... <sighs> Dude... Uh, I made Margo so pissed she's not going to be a part of this and then we don't have a getaway car. Oh, no, man. I wouldn't worry about it. She's my girlfriend now. We're dating. <laughs> no. Like. No, yeah. Margo. It's legit. It might be love. I mean, Mar- Margo and I were like in the in the projection booth and, 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 and like I was trying to get Margo to be a part of the plan. Mm. Right? Righteous. And yeah. uh, I kissed her hand, bro. Like like I saw in those movies, you know, like when the dude's trying to be all nice and be and like you know. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. I was so nervous. Okay, okay, okay. Jack, can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you? You can be honest with me, man. You can just tell your secrets to me and let them wash over me, like water on a stone, brother. I've never kissed a girl. Oh man! I know, I know. It's sad. Yeah. I I, I, mean, just, I just get really like nervous, and 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 so, like she was standing there, and she was like, getting nervous too, and I was like, we're both nervous, and I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, yeah. let me kiss her hand, and I tried to kiss her hand, and the next thing that happened, I was like, oh, it was that easy. I was I was thinking about like, oh my god, it was the first time I ever kissed a girl, and it wasn't that bad, and then she it got all count. pissed. God. Wait, why would you do to her hand? You like bite it or something? No, she thought I was like, I don't know. Dude, do you know how like, to kiss like, stuff? It was, easy to lips, like, it was like easy to get her to like be a part of the plan. And I was like, no, that's not what I meant. But like, mm-hmm. obviously mm-hmm. in the moment I wasn't. Uh, and so since then I've just, because uh, now I'm never going to be able to get that stupid horse. And all I wanted was just a, I just don't. Oh man, bro, take a breath. Have some Axe popcorn. Oh, you're right. Don't worry about it. I need to explain this to you. Margo and I are deeply in love. It's amazing. It's something that you can't even understand. I'm happy for you, bro. I just... uh, And I want to thank you for it. I want you to be there. I want you to be the best man at our wedding. I made her this ring out of of a Monopoly bill. I did an origami while I was walking around. That is some craftsmanship. I've been practicing my origami, dude. I learned to make a tiger yesterday. That's amazing. <laughs> I could almost hear a roar, brother. Uh, so, so when you, anyway, do yeah. you own a suit? Do I own a suit? Oh, for the yeah, way. Yes, yeah. Bro, am I going to be your best man? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so pumped. Have you told oh, her? Man. Did you ask her? Is that how marriages work? It's written in the stars, brother. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Okay. Can't eat it. You're blind. All right. Oh, so okay, 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 okay. This okay, could okay. go on forever. <laughs> could go on forever. I would watch. I would watch. Would watch also. But we do have. <laughs> we have yeah, other there's two minutes, minutes to attempt to steal. That's true. A horse. That's true. Okay. Of course, the horse. Good luck oh yeah, to right. Us. We gotta get that goddamn horse. All right. So we walk out. Is that when we see Margot and and? Uh... <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so we walk out. Oh, uh, like Zach's got the axe and it's like pointy and is like sticking like kind of in his pocket. Like he's trying to fit it in and like trying not to cut himself. <laughs> Do you have it like slid down the leg of your pants? Is that like what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, bro. Oh, hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, hey. Hey, Margo. Yeah. So. We uh ready to do this? Uh well, just give me two seconds because I gotta go get a needle and thread. Sew my broken heart back together. Uh what? what are you talking about? Um I guess I could crochet it with some yarn. He kind of thought you two were a thing. A thing? You, you like kissed him in front of me and like he thought it meant yeah as payback also I just 
All I wanted was someone to make out with me before I went to college so that I would know how to do it. And then you said that dumb thing, and Jeff's a nice guy, but I don't want to make out with him as my well, first well, make out well, session ever. And well, well, that's Mar- still Mar- offered, Mar- and, and I like them, and they're very Mar- nice Mar- looking, and they also smell nice, so why not? They were very gentle. Seal, respect. Margo, Mar- you crushed Mar- me forever. Are we gonna Listen, Jeff, if that's true, yes. I'm really sorry. Uh, I really didn't mean it. I just want to say, Margo, I know I was dumb. Was? No, I am. I'm I'm an idiot. You're right. Yes, you I are did. dumb. I just want you I, I wanna say one thing before we, we, we do this, because you're here. I just don't want you thinking I was trying to be a jerk to you. I wasn't trying to be a jerk. Wow, you weren't even trying and you succeeded. No, no, oh, my foot is always in my mouth. That's what my mom. No, no, no. Said. That was that was oh. a burn. That was a burn, Zach. That was just a burn. That's all Bro. that was. You can effortlessly control the emotions of others. You have that power. Okay, listen. So, you, you're gonna do this stupid plan about stupid horse, and stupid mall, and this. Stupid Whoa. town. It is a stupid this mall. This is a great plan, and the horse is amazing. So, well, I managed to get a look at the power box and I have a picture. What do you have? What do you have to like try and like actually get this? And he pulls a uh, like the axe, and as he's pulling it out from his pants, like it just like cuts some of the the pants leg, and he's like, "You have oh. you have an axe? Are you kidding me right now? What? Oh. Hey." Oh, hey, um, Seal? Yeah? Do you want to help me get the power tools from my Jeep? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, hello, like, four years of being in theater, you have to you have to build the sets and as well as act on them. You don't get to pick one or the other. Oh. Oh, really? Power yeah. tools. Yes, Marco, I can build you a best. fake set. Any day of the week. Don't between, doubt me. Between your power tools and my engineering skills, these two are lucky there. Real, real lucky. I've always considered myself blessed. Yeah, uh, you want to know what? That's why when this succeeds and we, we're going to be the legends, not you. They're going to call it Steel and yeah. Margo's awesomest prank ever. As long as it gets done and I was a part of it, I Honestly. All right, Ben, as long as we're all on the same page. All right. If we're not using the axe, and then he starts licking it, he's like, um, I don't know what to do with this, but it tastes really buttery and delicious. Oh, man. Oh. I, it was in the, the the popcorn machine. Don't judge. You do the same stuff to lobster. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. It's not a real lobster anyway. In any case, the one thing we have to be worried about is Tad. Officer Fisher has been on my ass all day because that oh. damn lobster roll. Uh, oh, the stupid yeah. mall cops on me too. That's so, so I accidentally really stepped on his foot. Wait, Tad, you stepped on Tad's foot? It was an accident. I was in a hurry. Yo, he he like shines his boots like twenty times before he starts his shit. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know. But like, I, what does that have to do with anything? Well. Where is he right now? Not a clue, but you guys can find that out while uh, Margo and I go grab the power tools. Um, so... Hey, Ted. <laughs> hey, Ted. <laughs> we have to... Let's, let's go, Margo. All right. So... All right, yeah, no, we'll get the power tools. Where you at, man? All right, who's left to this? Oh, wait, I think Ted's... Uh, he's still looking for <laughs> Yeah, I have not done a scene yet. Wait, have I? I don't know. At this point, it doesn't matter anymore. I think, At this point, I think, I think we're all one scene we're all that is just it. making yeah, yeah. it yeah, happen yeah. or attempting okay. to make it happen in five minutes. In five minutes. Got it. So, so uh, we reconvene at the carousel at with the carousel. power tools, axe, and a picture of the power box in hand. The first thing I think we need to do is scope the, the area to make sure there's nobody around. All right. Who wants to scope? Who wants I'm to on make it? 
that cred roll. Yeah. Uh, I think or that's a corp roll, ah. and I would be proud to make that roll. Do it. Look, I can scout any amount of land as though I were a professional um, at it. And I have definitely failed. <laughs> All right. So uh, okay. So I add a detection. We yeah. can fail. Like right. We can fail yeah. at this. This yeah. will just go horribly awry. Um, so I think have- in in failing, I will I will kind of be wandering around and and will probably um, find myself once again lost. <laughs> um. Excuse me, son. What are you doing in the mall after hours? I work here. What are you doing in the mall after hours? I also work here. But oh. your shift should be long over by now. And again, I ask, what are you doing in here this late? Well, I've never been in this part of the mall before. And I was looking for you. Do? What? Well, I wanted to see you. Why? Well, I guess to you were. Oh. Uh-oh. We're... Oh, <laughs> do we have a frozen? Yeah, I we lost frozen. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm just not moving. See? Now we can do anything with this. What did you... <laughs> that being said, we did lose what you said. That's the last thing you said. Oh, I just wanted to know where you were. But now I know where you are. So, you know, it's time. Why do you need to know where I am? No. Um, well, I don't. Well, I know where you are. <laughs> so you don't need to tell me. I got it. Should, it's cool. Should this be a roll of some kind? I'm trying to like. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I do so. feel like this, this is a roll. This has okay. to be a roll. This uh, has got to be like a danger, danger thing, right? Danger, real Robinson. Okay. okay. Uh, oh yeah, I can roll my. De- I can roll for detection. Um, so if I roll above, I succeed, right? That's the idea. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, and I have failed. Oh no! I have failed in my detection. Oh, roll, he's on you. I feel it is maybe fairly clear that I am being <laughs> shady as fuck. <laughs> Time to go to mall jail. I have to say, I don't believe you. For a teenager, you're a terrible liar. Oh, man. Listen. Well, what if I told you, had... you I was older than that? No. Whatever you, whatever you were planning mm-hmm. was going to happen here tonight, it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. It's not going to happen on my watch. You're coming with me. All right, I guess. But, hey. What? We just got like a sandwich on the way or something like that. I'm starving. I don't care. Brutal. (laughs) All right. And I I am busted. Yeah. All right. One down. Three to go. Uh, how, How are you? Taking uh, Jeff to to uh, the mall detentions thing. Which way do you Last go? One. Yeah. Well, I am definitely gingerly holding on to Officer Tad Fisher as we both ride on that Segway. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm having a great time. All right. And then, uh... huh. I mean, we're just gonna listen. We're there now, and we are. I mean, we're, we're, gonna... we're, we're doing it, but uh, yeah, yeah. I can't let my bro down. So I mean, like, I, I imagine, um, I imagine uh, that Zach is like up on the balcony, like the second floor, like as they're like on the bottom floor, like sort of riding with the Segway, and he's like, "Oh no, oh no, stupid rent a cop." What can I do? And he's like, like thinking, and he just goes, "Hey, Officer Doofus!" And like, he goes, "Guess what? I'm running around in the mall at full speed." 
at night when I'm not supposed to even be here. What you doing? Not your job. You should be stopping me. And he like starts running in the opposite direction of the uh, the thing. He's like, he's like, yeah, you got to roll for that to see. If yeah, no, I want to. I want to. <laughs> I'm trying my best, you guys. If he even bothers to try and follow you. Come on. Uh, I can say. Oh, what's that? Oh, slash R. <laughs> R yeah. slash. That was funny. There. So there's a fast way to roll if you if if you want a hot I did want that. pro tip. Yeah. Uh, in the little bar in the top yeah. left hand side, you see the the D twenty. If you yeah. hover over I that, I like typing can... it. I like typing it. I don't know. It's it's like I, I if I'm not gonna actually roll. It's but this like... is a hot tip. This is a hot tip for people in chat. Yeah. If you ever want a fast way to roll, there's that little D twenty up in that top left hand menu that just does. All right, so I fell, which is digital die rolls. So you also does that also increase your detection? It does. That's why I'm waiting to see what the officer does about it. Um, Amanda, do you want to play Officer Tad Fisher? No, I, I officially retire. Yeah, I, I'll do it. <laughs> what are you talking about, you little crap? I'll get you. I'll get you. You you stay right here. Don't leave this. You stay right here. I'm gonna go get your friend. We're, you're both gonna be in mall jail. You, 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 you stop. It, just, just try to run. He slips and falls. That's that's <laughs> how yeah, he yeah. fails. He's trying so, to be cool. Slips so and falls. I think I think um, Tad handcuffs Jeff to the Segway and races off after uh, um, Zach and like hauls him up off the floor by the forearm and just like. You're coming with me. You and your little friend are going to spend the night in, in the office until I get the cop. I'm going to figure out what it is that y'all were up to in this in, in here after hours. Like he, like he knows. Uh, as he gets brought over to the Jeff, he's like, I couldn't let you go down alone for this. Bro, that's the kindest thing anyone's ever done to me. Yeah. I love you. Same. I love you. Thank you. Officer Ted. That's Officer awesome think... for you. All right, Fisher Ted. I don't think three of us can fit on this segue. <laughs> we'll figure it out. In the meantime, hop, hop on over. You gotta try this thing, man. It's okay. Amazing. Oh, all right. I mean, it's kind of silly looking, but uh, okay. Oh, the ride what? is smooth as butter. <laughs> Butter. <laughs> and we and we leave the three of them on their way to mall jail. I feel like it, the entire time this is happening, Seal and Margo are just like sawing the horse off from both yeah. ends and like carrying it out the mall. Like honestly, they're doing yeah. the job. We let's let's roll to see if we successfully yeah. get this horse out of here. Okay, I, I will assist you so you can have an extra die. Uh. Wait, so, okay. I'm just going to so roll you, and tell you what the number is, and then you tell me what happens. Yeah, you're going to roll two die. Oh. Because I'm assisting. And this feels to me like a corporal. Like, you're taking it apart properly, right? Like, you're doing... This is not just, like, a smash and grab. You're doing proper work. Yeah. So we've actually, like, made sure that the electronics are properly disconnected and all that stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got a three and a four. Uh, and what is your corp stat? It's a three. So the three is the, the better one. You want to roll low. So you've yeah, matched yeah. it. So we've matched. So I think there's a complication. We Randy succeed with, with, a compl with, a, with a complication, correct? Mm hmm Yep. So I think I think we managed to successfully get this horse off the carousel. Wait, wait, wait. Can I can I can I suggest what this is then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna suggest oh, I don't know if you can. I mean, oh, this is just that something went wrong in the, in what? There's this no is our game. There is no wrong. We can do literally anything oh, we want. Oh, I was like, <laughs> I was like, what if they like dropped it or banged it against something and it like broke in half so they could only like take half of it because they no. made so much noise. I love that. I love that so They're just like, do 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 ha 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 bam. And then it's like, oh shit. And just like one of them just they both just grab the half that's closest to them and like finish like running away. <laughs> and like, I think they wait uh, by the car for like 
like five or ten minutes and realize that like neither of you are following them and we're just like gotta fucking get out of here <laughs> every person for themselves yep. Mar- Margo and Seal will drive off into the night and maybe make out some more uh, nice. who can say they- that's none of your business mm-hmm. I'm and, uh, them all now want to call it Randy yeah uh, so I would like just for uh, the end. So me and Jeff are in like our little thing. So what 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 happens to us? Oh man, I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess we're in mall jail with Officer Dan Fisher, <laughs> and the I guess the larger question is like, do real cops get involved? I mean, they would probably if there was a a, 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 a stolen carousel piece from the mall. But you clearly don't have anything to do with it. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's okay. what I love about it. <laughs> this is great. Tad Fisher calls the cops. The cops show up and they're like, you've arrested two children who work here who were literally standing in the mall. And he's like, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> You do realize that while this was happening, there was an actual theft outside. Yeah. Those shoplifters! Please say they blame the shoplifters that they were like casing the yeah. place and that it, like it had it could have been yeah. like involved with that. Haven't um, you guys recently had a really bad spate, spate of shoplifters? Have they ever lifted anything this big? <laughs> <laughs> and Margo and Seal never get caught. <laughs> no. And yeah. uh I think uh I at least Zach would be so happy that this this happened like the fact that they like succeeded at this idea that he just had phenomenal i have a question do we bring the do we sneak the horse the the horse back in at some point well it's broken in half why would we i I don't oh Ooh, what if we break it up into smaller pieces and each of uh and you and you and and zach take a piece with you to college when you Everyone leave. takes a piece to college. That's a nice one. I like it. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Oh, this sets us up really nicely if we ever do a part two of this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway. Uh, all right. Randy, that was yeah. mustard. <laughs> uh, I'm exhausted. Being a teenager again is exhausting. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. All yeah. All the energy and all the drama. So uh, <laughs> that was really fun. Uh, so, obviously, like, this was our first time playing this and also playing one of the scenarios. It was super fun for me. Um, but one thing I want to say is that there are so many different scenarios. There's lots of, like, ideas that you can do with just the base game. So if you see this and you just think, hey, I want to play with some friends, it's super fun. And um, it's really easy, I think. Like, just have fun. I, I, I'm glad that I could share this awesome game that Matthew made. Um, and that, you know, just with my friends. So thank you. All. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you for facilitating, Randy. Thank you to everybody who showed up in chat today. We're going to go around the horn really fast so that people can find out where they can follow you or what else they can see you in. Um, and let's go ahead and start with Amanda. Hello. Currently, you cannot see me in anything else, but <laughs> um, I am on Twitter at Geek Powers. Great. And uh, Randy? Yeah, uh, my name is Randy Alvarenga, and you can find me on Twitter at Rolleraja. That's R O L L E R R A J A. And is there anything else that they might be able to possibly see oh. you in? Ah, sorry. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of crazy. So, um, yeah, um, starting next month, date to be coming. I'm going to also be doing a show over on uh, Dragons and Things. So we'll be playing like some Savage Worlds games. So I'm really pumped about that. Um, So check that out. Yeah, it's called Harbingers. You can follow it on my page. It's awesome. Very, very exciting and very proud of you. Max, where can they find you? What are you up to? Hey, um, I'm just taking it easy. Just trying to live my life. It's all pretty good. Um, you can find me I on like the internet <laughs> at just hey man, I'm just doing that. Um, you can find me on the internet at Brosis Movies. It's like brother sister movies uh, on Twitter. That would be your best bet uh, for all the fun weird shit I got going on in my life. 
And I am Aki. You can find me on Twitter at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A E O T T L E. My entire Twitch ch- streaming ch- schedule is uh, available on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S H I B A R E. Uh, A-K-I. My hands do not want to cooperate today. Anyways, uh, you can catch me on uh, this upcoming Saturday for the season finale of Let's Get Wild Mount over on Critical Bard's channel. That is at 1.30 p.m. PT. Um, and uh, on Monday, this upcoming Monday, it is uh, Memorial Day, but you can still catch um, uh, the Klingon uh, game uh, Blood of the Void over on Q Times. It's pre recorded, uh, so uh, there's all kinds of fun stuff to see there, as well as my Candle Keep Mysteries game at 1 o'clock p.m. on Mondays. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, let's say thank you to Dom, who is, of course, an amazing producer and without whom thank he would you, not do Dom. any of this. Uh, after all of the, the wind up to get everything started, he was so, he's always so, you know wonderful we we really couldn't do this without the platform that he gives us uh to do this and of course we want to thank all of you viewers for joining us tonight for our premiere and making it so much fun and so special and uh we're really excited for we have planned next week it's going to be my pick um and we'll find out more about what that is when uh we announce further details later on in the week but until then remember you do not need a game master to have a good time at a tabletop role-playing game you just need a group of friends your imaginations and that's all so until next time everybody play on have a great time at your tables bye